Eyes for Allah, nothing but Allah. Ba is the beginning of Bismillah. Ta is for taqwa, the wearing of Allah. And tha is for thawab, a reward. Ja is for Jannah, the garden of paradise. Ha is for Hajj, the blessed pilgrimage. Kha is for Khatim, the seal of the prophethood given to the prophet. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Dies for deen, al-Islam, religion with Allah since time began That is for dhikr, remembering Allah, and rise for the month of Ramadan <laughs> Impressive work for program for oneself or on behalf of the parent a sadaka to Jaria that we afford the dua dinner be easily learned. Key into work for program by bequeathing part of your estate, landed properties, and other assets for the sake of Allah. Proceeds or rental fee from this assets shall be judiciously utilized by the tested and trusted Z and S Workful Foundation to bring succor to the needy is a provision of social amenities and economic empowerment. You can also make a donation of a minimum of 10,000 Naira that Z and S Workful Foundation we could lay to procure assets that are economically viable. No doubt, Workful is highly rewarding. Contact Z and S Workful Foundation, Suite 12, Tafabalewa Square, Lagos. Call 80 3538-2911 With Workful, your asset will end your dinner. Be easy to lie. Be a partaker. Began. That is for Dick. Remembering Allah. A'udhu Billah. Samin Ali Mina Shaitani Rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbati ajma'in. Viewers at home. We say salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We sincerely thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who says in the Holy Quran wa aqimu salata wa atu zakah. Keep up praying and give out zakat. We beseech his blessings upon the noblest creature of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that says ma nakosat sadaqatun min mal that uh, zakat giving or uh, act of charity does not decrease your worth. We were talking in terms of uh, institutionalizing and uh, standardizing the institution of zakat among the Muslims. We were looking at some points under that. We have looked at the dutable uh, items of zakat. We mentioned that it's also divided into two, the open and the uh, hidden ones. The open ones are the farm produce and the cattle. Mm -hmm. The uh, merchandise item, for example, um, and uh, the cattle and the farm produce. The hidden ones, they are the gold, the silver, the cash, the banknotes. Those that the owners will not like people to know. That he is having it. And even you may have in a missed you. You may not know that he is a billionaire or trillionaire. But by the time you see his, uh, uh, his action in terms of uh, payment or in terms of executing some things on the society uh, financially, you discover that uh -uh, this is a rich, wealthy person. So we also talk about good administration. And we stopped on that. So we are to continue, we want to continue on the third aspect of perfect institutionalization of zakat, and that is the perfect distribution, perfect collection and distribution of zakat. When you select the able and trustworthy ones, the next thing is that to do what? Allah Allah says in the Holy Quran, Wal'amilina aliha, and those who are employed in in the uh, in connection with the zakat. And Prophet Sallam says, the zakat workers, al amilun of Isabilillah, the zakat workers, al amilun, those who are employees in connection with the with zakat institution, Fisabilillah, they are in the cost of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala until he comes back home, until he returns back to his 
residences or to their residences or to their homes. So they are feasible like, because they are doing a, 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 an essential job for the society or for the Muslim Ummah to make sure that they are, they are sacrificing their own time, their own energy to put smiles in the faces of uh, others, to ensure that the society is tranquil, to ensure that Islam becomes firmly established on earth with the institution of zakat being the central pillar. Third aspect of it, perfect collection and distribution involves uh, knowing what are the zakatable items. We mentioned that. We are coming to it. Uh, but these zakat workers, uh, as we are talking about, that they need to perfect the collection and perfect the distribution. They need to be carefully selected. And if we look at perfecting their uh, own act of uh, collection and distribution, their own portion of uh, logistics uh, aspect of the collection and distribution, whatever, happen, whatever must happen to be their expenses must not be beyond 1 over 8, which is about 12.5% uh, of the income. But in most cases, if the workers are not uh, conscious enough, they may even spend more than that. They may spend between 30, 40, 50 percent, and they will still justify their actions. But in Islam, according to the Prophet the majority of the workers uh, would be volunteers. Those who be doing it feasibly less. Do, Ones that will be doing it 24 hours, 24 7, these ones are the only ones you pay for the technocrats. Some individuals who are employed for, to perform a specific and very essential work in the act of administering, focus on the serving others, serving, uh, serving other areas of recipients, the, need, the poor, the needy. Those whose hearts are to be reconciled, uh, those in bondage, those in debt, and feasibility, uh, and those uh, uh, the wayfarers. These remaining seven, uh, if we are perfecting the administration of zakat, they must be properly taken care of, and the workers must make sure that they reduce their own logistic expenses to the BRS minimum so that they can have perfect collection and the perfect uh, distribution in the acts of administering and the act of standardizing the collection and distribution of uh, zakat. Fourth aspect of it is the, uh, cre to create, is to create an emblemly environment for the collection and the distribution of zakat. And enable environment as how you need a platform. You must have a platform for the collection of uh, this zakat and uh, and uh, distributing it to people. If you don't have a viable platform and good uh, what do you call it, environment that could enable you collect, you distribute it in a perfect form, you may not have good administration or you may not have good institution of zakat in the society. What did the Holy Prophet Salam did to ensure that he has zakat collected and distributed? He created an enabling environment. He trained Muslims and then he made them believe that it's a pillar of Islam. He arose their, their interest and he let them know what happened. So he created a lot of awareness to ensure that they know what is the reward in the payment? What is the punishment in non-payment? And what is the benefit here on heart? And what is the blissful uh, uh, enjoyment they will have in the day of judgment? And what is going to be their reward in our jannah and protection from the wrath of Allah, the fire of Allah in the day of judgment? All these uh, 
creating an enabling environment or a good platform for the collection and distribution. Yeah, it may be through a foundation, through a commission, through a society, an Islamic society. It could be through uh, an arm of government or a parastata. It could be through ministry. Some Muslim countries, they have a ministry for uh, Islamic affairs and endowments, through which they, they, they use it to serve as a platform for the collection of zakat, uh, sadaqat, and awqaf. And you see them uh, doing well in the society. So if we have a enabling environment, then definitely we shall have a zakat institutionalized. And finally, uh, zakat flourish with uh, favorable fatawa, favorable scholars, scholarly uh, opinions, scholars' decisions. See, uh, we need ulama, the scholars who will understand this zakat in the modern language and present it to people so much comprehensively so that we have enough of people who will pay zakat rather than people who will uh, probably uh, <laughs> disturb others from payment. Some people, by the time you are telling them that this is a better window, usable for the collection of zakat, for example, like that of a salary of uh, uh, as collecting zakat from all earnings of a Muslim, as Allah all legal earnings of a Muslim, as Allah SWT put it, that in all their worth, there is a deal. Mm -hmm collectible as zakat and charities to benefit others who are half nots who are less privileged in the society. So some ulamas will uphold this, while some, you see some uh, others who will not uh, uphold this. So for us to have uh, zakat flourished, mm, better institutionalized in our society, we need favorable fatawa. We do not need to stick ourselves to one school of thought, but rather look at the prophetic school of thought, the Sahaba school of thought, and the Jamil uh, Mahzahib, Fikul Mahzahib, understanding all other school of thoughts that probably emanated from the first two we have mentioned. We pray that Allah SWT grant us the better institutionalization of uh, zakat uh, and sadaqat in our society, and all that are working in this field, may Allah SWT reward them abundantly, and uh, for those of you our audience and viewers, we pray that Allah SWT grant you to be one of the best uh, tools Allah will use in perfecting the institutionalization of zakat in our society. To this end, I say once again, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Began, that is for dick, remembering Allah. Every time you feel he like wants to make Nigeria economy better. She hates injustice and wants to stand for those who cannot stand for themselves. He believes Nigeria refineries can work. He wants to make that change. It takes true character to make a better public service. She wants to make a public servant. But it is not enough to dream. We need to turn dreams to into reality. And start well schools is the place to start. One of the missions of uh, start well school is to provide qualitative education with a pristine Islamic teaching that meets this ever dynamic world. And uh, to the glory of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, we can beat our chest over it that we have produced those who have these qualities. <laughs> When somebody finishes in this school, he's an ambassador of Islam. He will have practiced Islam within us. So by the time he gets out, he's used to the, the way of life. So we just want Muslims that will represent us Islamically in the global world. Enroll your child today at Startwell Schools, located at 15 stroke 19 Karim Street, Agbede Meeting, Asala Bus Stop, a Greek. Ikorudu Lagos. For more information, please call. Inshallah. Start well skills. Aspire. Acquire. Achieve.
that one school is the best among equal. Giant youth are initiating lofty business ideas that could make many an employer of labor rather than job seekers in the already saturated labor market. But lack of business orientation, substandard business proposal, lack of funds and mentorship are challenges hindering the actualization of these business ideas. As part of its empowerment strategies to eradicate poverty in the country, Zakat and Sodako Foundation, a non-governmental organization, organized a two-day business plan competition for 100 beneficiaries across the 30 states of the Federation to address the myriad of business challenges and equip participants with the prerequisite knowledge for a successful business. This is one of our entrepreneurial schemes called Business Plan Competition. Many of the youths that have business idea or who are already running their business have been encouraged to take the business serious. We know the challenges many of them are facing, such as lack of proper understanding of the business they are even doing, how to come up with a winning business proposals, how to get funds. These are all issues that are challenging many of our young ones that are just coming up, especially when they want to start doing business. Many of them have run for white collar job, unfortunately, they couldn't find any. So, so those ones that are smart among them are resorting to let me also start my own business. And the challenges they usually have is seed capital to commence the business. Why those who are already there they are looking for capital to improve their business. Also. So this is very important. We at Sakat and Saraka Foundation, we are doing our best to ensure that we contribute to our own quota to take these teaming youths out of the poverty by providing them with wealth, with fund, and with educational need, as well as mentorship, so that at the end of the day, these teaming youths can be successful in their endeavors. So what we do, like the training we are doing now, is called empowerment training. It will train them on how to write business proposal so that they will be able to win when they put up their proposal to prospective customers. It's not enough to just say, I am running a business when the profit and the capital have been spent on a daily basis. So we are going to tell them how to keep records, record book of accounts, and to be able to know what is the profit they have actually made from the business and therefore, instead of just putting everything together, we're probably going to teach them what is the right time to do a particular business. Somebody that's into agricultural business, if he does not know weather conditions, he might continue to be failing in all his efforts. So this training will do that for them. In his words, the project manager, Mr. Isa Oni, says the training is designed to provide entrepreneurship skills, how to manage a business successfully, how to create a winning proposal, empowerment materials to fill the capacity gap of business owners, adding that NGOs are welcome for support to reduce the rate of unemployment. What we are having now is the training of uh, listed uh, applicants. Consultants have listed about uh, 100 people, besides the 100, to train them in the heart of entrepreneurship so that if they are lucky, any one of them that is lucky to be given a, a grant will be able to make better use of uh, the grant. And if you are not even given a grant, you'll be able to go away with uh, knowledge on how you can improve your business. That's the essence of the uh, training, to give people wider knowledge about uh, business enterprises. Maybe in the future, but presently, we are now having any support from uh, uh, government. But what we are doing is not our own making. It's a contribution of uh, our Sakat and Sadakata payer. 
The chairman of the program, Engineer Abdulganyu Adewali Jawando, stated that the program is aimed at developing the skills and further deepening the knowledge of the participants in their respective businesses to facilitate profitability and sustainability. The program basically is aimed at reducing unemployment, which is one of the things that the government and the populace has been clamoring for. And uh, also at the same time, equipping the youth on business knowledge so that those that want to start business actually have uh, knowledge of what exactly they want to do. We've had a situation in this country where the rate of business failure has been put to something in the neighborhood of 80 percent. So and we think with this kind of competition it actually gives our youth the opportunity to learn and also participate and at the same time create their own jobs and reduce unemployment in the society. According to the managing director of Albaika Microfinance Bank, Mr. Abdrazak Abdullah, the initiative is packaged to empower and educate young entrepreneurs in order for them to be more equipped, skilled technically and transact business in the global world. The essence of this training is to empower youth. ZNX, out of his uh, favor, the last banner the last grand them. They are trying to extend the hand of um, uh, help to some young entrepreneurs in order for them to be more equipped, skilled, technically and otherwise in order to know how to transact business in the global world. Government support basically is very, very low. But in other countries, like what we know, the PP, private partnership always support government because we all know the issue of uh, economy that we're facing, particularly in Nigeria. But we expect other organizations, NGOs and other organizations to support in order to meet up with the rate of uh, improving uh, unemployment. Participants appreciated the sponsors, assured them to implement what they have learned and seek for continuity of the program. They are also optimistic to be among the 20 finalists. Uh, I'm here in order to get funding at first. But when I came here, my mindset was changed because I really appreciate and enjoy this program. Not only from business perspectives, but from the, as a proverb says, traveling is part of education. This is my first time to come to Lagos. It was superb. I learned many things. I, purposely, I came to just get the ground and go. But even if I go now without anything, I achieve a lot, a lot, because they have changed my mindset to a to real entrepreneur mindset. I'm very grateful for this program. Yeah. I come from Bukuru, they lack the knowledge of cybercrime, so they don't know how to thwart or prevent the cybercrime. So I will, if I will get this grant, I will take measures that people will be free from cybercrime. I could give uh, more than five star rating, I would give, because it is a well-packaged program for the competitors. It is really a well-packaged um, event. We hope that they will put more effort in um, ensuring that more people get. It should not be limited to 10 or 20 people. I'm here because I'm one of the persons, one of the hundred persons selected for this as a Cat and Sadaka Foundation business proposal competition. So we are here in Lagos for the competition process. The training it's okay by me because uh, the facilitators are well equipped. They really know why they are here. And um, not even going far, the lectures we've received so far have actually opened my mindset and my thinking towards why we are here. So I don't even need to go further because um, even if I'm not part of the winners, the final winners of this company, I think what I've gained from the training alone, I'll be able to use it. Certificate of participation was presented to the participants. First completion of two days training of business consulting and business management. We are hereby presented with this certificate as a recognition of the active participation in the training of the business management. management. Zakat and Sodako Foundation aims to continue helping young entrepreneurs to reduce unemployment rate and eradicate poverty among youth.
They urge the government at different levels to support the initiative in form of counseling, materials and fund donations. Began that is for Dick, remembering Allah. Yeah, Embracing work for program for oneself or on behalf of the parent is Sabaka to Jaria that we have found the dua Jenna be easily learned. Key into work for program by bequeathing part of your estate, landed properties, and other assets for the sake of Allah. Proceeds or rental fee from this assets shall be judiciously utilized by the tested and trusted Z and S Workful Foundation to bring succor to the needy is a provision of social amenities and economic empowerment. You can also make a donation of a minimum of 10,000 Naira that Z and S Workful Foundation we collect to procure assets that are economically viable. No doubt, Workful is highly rewarding. Contact Z and S Workful Foundation, Suite 12, Tafabalewa Square, Lagos. Call 80 3538-2911 With Workful, your asset will end you dinner. Be easy to lie. Be a partaker. Began, that is for Dick, remembering Allah.